The simplest way to understand torque is with seesaw problems, um, and you'll see why, because torque is defined as the position vector um, with the cross product of the force times cosine theta. Now this um, is complicated um, if you do not understand what these mean. Um, so, but in most cases, you can understand it pretty conceptually without even the formula. Just knowing, in a simpler sense, the torque is um, the force times the distance from point of rotation. Now this is pretty much what torque is, but this is important because you have to qualify this. This has to be perpendicular um, to lever arm. And what that basically means is if you have, here's your axis of rotation, and say you're applying a force here, well then your force to get the most torque needs to be either this way, which is perpendicular, or this way, which is perpendicular. Um, the best way to conceptualize this um, before we get to the seesaws is, say you're opening a door. So a door, from plan view, is like this. So this is the inside of the house. And it's hinged on one side. So when you open the door, it looks like this. Now, um, from just from your natural experience, the easiest way to open a door is to push as far as you can to this side where the handle is, straight up. Now it's really hard, and I'm sure you've tried, to try to open a door by pushing here. Say you have your back to the wall, to the door, and you're trying to get in with a big package. It's really hard to open it here. So how is this working in terms of this equation? Well, you're applying a force, um, which is um, your body's force uh, towards the door, and you're so that's your F, and your R is the distance from here. So the first option was this far, which we'll call X, and then the second option was this one, which is Y. So FX, say if X equals, um, let's say, two feet, and this equals half a foot, then you have either um, two F or F over 2, and if your force is like 100 newtons, then you have 200, which is way greater than um, 50. So what is this actually saying here? That you're applying the exact same force, but just changing your location of pushing on that door inwards, you can quadruple the effect you have, torque-wise. Now, let's look at the seesaws now. Uh, the classic example is how you balance a seesaw with people who have different weights. If you want to think of a seesaw, you should think of this as the fulcrum, or the axis of rotation. And if you have two people who are exactly the same weight, then you think of weight as mg, which is the force of gravity. Um, if they're the same, then the torque on this side matches the torque on this side, which is mg l equals mg l. Now, if the guy on your right is suddenly twice as heavy, then you have to, you're introducing a 2 on this side of the equation. All right? So, the only way to make this work is to either increase this guy's mass by 2, but double this guy's mass, double this guy's length, or have this guy's length. And in a seesaw problem, because uh, two of the two of the three are unchangeable constraints, you can only change where he is sitting. So this is a fatter guy. Now he's at L over two. So you add a two here, so these cancel out, and it's still equal. Um, and that's ba the basic principle behind torque on seesaws, because. Um, you increase someone's mass, you just move them closer to the fulcrum. 
and if someone's mask gets less, then you just move them farther away from the fulcrum. And you probably just know this by experience of, of playing on a seesaw with a friend who is of a different weight than you, and that's the physics behind it.